damn it. Yeah, it does. Mute. Fucker. We all know how much I love to hear about other people's skin conditions. Stupid commercial. It's been a couple of weeks. I'm like, wait, how do I set these streams up again? <laughs> I remember. I remember how. You never forget. Stacked field today. A lot of big names going to the rear. Larson and Almendinger both to the rear from the top five. In a field with Shane Vangisbergen and Ty Gibbs. Sam Mayer, who was a beast on road courses last year. Maybe this will be fun. Maybe this will be competitive. Here's hoping. I'd love to have bets on this one, but I ain't heard from Michael lately. <laughs> Might have went to Gambler's Rehab or something. Had that truck race on for background noise. It was a snooze fest. It sure was. One, Corey Hom won, right? And there was a really silly overtime because Marco Andretti's entire axle, including both wheels, fell off. That was funny. That's literally like the highlight of that race. If I was streaming the stupid overtime and red flag before, it would have just driven me insane. So I'm glad I'm cutting some headaches out of my life these days. Austin, it's a beautiful day. The NASCAR Xfinity Series, more like it. It is fine, though. Larson just slapped an Xfinity sticker on his cup sticker. Good God, Ty Gibbs has to go to the rear, too. Larson, Gibbs, and Almendinger, all from the top five to the rear. I can't believe the boomers don't light up saying, I can't understand what Suarez is saying. I'm sure if you look hard enough, you'll see that. Gibbs, 
But yeah, Almendinger, obviously. But you got to look at some of the Xfinity regulars. They've gotten really good at this type of car with the with the truck arms and, and the Xfinity car that it is. That's way different than the Cup cars they are. And so when you look at Chandler Smith, look at you know Sheldon Creed, Cole Custer. These guys are gonna Sam Mayer. Joey didn't say Sam Mayer. On my bingo card no. in the booth on camera today, but we just slid it right in there. Here are the drivers coming from the back this afternoon. I touched on Larson and Gibbs. Sheldon Creed, really good road racer. He too. Sheldon Creed's picture is hilarious. He, uh, of course, won earlier this season in Las Vegas. He comes from the rear as well. Let's sit at trackside now. Get the command to fire engines at Coda. Circuit of the Americas. This is the moment you have been waiting for. Are you ready to get the NASCAR Xfinity Series Focus Hell 250 started? Woo! Here to get the command to fire engines is 10 time gold and platinum recording artist and Texas Some dude player, I've never heard of. Cody Jinx. Take it away, Cody. Drivers, start your engines. I must live in a bubble. Honestly, I do. Ugh. The two of the best in the field. They are teammates, and today they share the front row. Almendinger and Van Gisbergen. We talk to the duo when we return live in Austin, Texas. I'm so glad they put stage breaks back into this race, so this race can be 45 minutes to an hour longer just because of the stage cautions. Awesome. That's all it does is make the race longer. <sighs> Getting rid of stage breaks was the right idea. It was stupid to bring them back. <clears throat> Arca. Huh. Is that what ever been shown on television anywhere? <clears throat> that truck race sucked. I had it on in the background. The whole uh, axle coming out from Marco's truck was funny, though. But I'm glad I didn't stream it. It was a crappy race. Trucks are just not fun. Playing GTA after this, but I need a nap. <clears throat> Hopefully, the guys will be able to all get on around the same time. Well, I started playing with the creator, and I kind of gave up. I was trying to come up with a good long race. I still have it in my head. I just didn't save it, but I know the route that I had made. I didn't finish creating it, so I didn't make any new ones. But I've got this idea for this crazy, stupid long race. They give you 200 checkpoints to work with, and I had this thing at like 190 around the entire map. So I'll finish it and do something with it sometime. It was pretty cool, pretty epic. <laughs> oh, it was crazy long. The lap, it was point to point. Series racing on the road for the 83rd time today. It happens in Austin, Texas. Fourth time we've competed here. Our Fox weather, great day for it, 73 degrees. High today topped out right around 75. Not full sunshine. There are some clouds. Ozzy, you live late in front of my fan. We talked about this 
Ooh, son of a bitch. My new drumsticks got here today, and I love them. I just hate that I can't really play with them because my drum pads aren't here till Monday. But I bounced them off the drum pads and played a little bit anyway. And these sticks are so good. The bottoms are so heavy, but the tips are very light. And because the bottoms are heavy, you don't hit as hard because you feel like you're going to break your fucking drums. But the tips of the sticks are actually very light and takes care of your drums. And these sticks last a long time. They're bouncy. It's like I barely had to move my wrist at all to play. Happy with my new sticks. They were pretty expensive as far as drumsticks go, but they have a long lifespan and they're good for your drums. So I think it was worth the investment because I'm tired of breaking wood sticks every month or so. Wrapping tape around them to keep playing with them. Fuck that. Shane Vangersbergen. They're showing a Chicago win. What a pass he made there. He's got a good shot today. Ooh, fuck. Larson, Almendinger, and Gibbs have to drop to the rear from the top five. Sheldon Creed from seventh has to go to the rear. Mangusberg is going to start up front on the front row and cruise, hopefully. He's already got an edge over his biggest competition, in my opinion. Like I said, they got to start at the rear. Yeah, they can flip the strategy and get back to the front and all, but. What if something happens to all those guys when they're in the back and Vangusbergen's up front just cruising away? The windshield wipers are not concerning, dude. At every road course, you have to install the windshield wiper, whether it's going to rain or not. It's part of the road course package. Everybody has to have a windshield wiper ready, but there's no rain in the forecast. And even if it did rain, they'd race through it. Austin Hill, fourth or better in every race this year. Well, Justin Allgaier blew a left rear tire at Phoenix, but that didn't stop Jamie Little as the race was going off the air from saying, congratulations, Justin Allgaier. These damn open wheels are coming for my NASCAR.
box is going to be the race. He said, I need to be perfect all day long, put my car in the right spots on the racetrack, do everything just right, and have a solid day today. Josh? Well, Regan, it's been a nightmare start to the season for the one team of Sam Mayer. And this is a team that has finished in the top 30 once so far this year, but a road course may be just what the doctor ordered. And when I talked to crew chief Marty Lindley earlier today, he told me, this is a race we feel like we have a car we can win in. Now we need a perfect day on top of the pit box, on pit road, and out there on the track. If we have all that, we can change Nice Roto-Rooter paint scheme there for a mayor. That's pretty nice looking. Just repay parts of the track and not the whole thing. Stupid stage cautions are back. At least NASCAR kinda enforces track limits through the S's. Coming to the green, which means this race will start in 20 minutes when they get back around. <laughs> My fans want on the mic. I'm sorry. It's warm in here. Shane Van Gisbergen. We don't say shit like paddock. We don't have stewards. No. <laughs> we have officials and a garage. <laughs> So many drivers to the rear. <clears throat> the fastest, except for Vangusbergen, have to go to the rear pretty much. You're a nice car. Speak American. <laughs> Speak American.
new restart zone just out of the final corner. That's to try to mitigate some of the stack up we see in turn one. Vangusberg and launches, he's gone. Huge advantage to the leaders this way. The middle of the pack still kind of screwy. <clears throat> but Vangusberg didn't waste any time. Like a NASCAR veteran. Vangus Bergen, Chandler Smith. I thought AJ had to go to the rear. What's he doing in third? Am I crazy? Hell, I guess I was wrong. Track limits, fuckers. Through the S's, there's track limits. Everywhere else... Do like Vangusberg, and he had his right sides in the grass. Almendinger to second. Gets off the corner better than the 81. That corner, is, that's one of the most important corners on the track. It's just a long straightaway after that. You lose time off that corner, you're screwed. Sammy Smith passing Austin Hill for fourth. I call out the ice rink section of NASCAR Rivals. Whoa! Chandler Smith got bumped by Sammy Smith and spun around. Slows up Austin Hill. A bunch of cars go by him, but he's rolling. And there goes all of Chandler Smith's track position. But it's okay. There's stage caution, so they can just flip it and get it back. Little single car spin, we're all good. Oh, the 21 put the eight into the 81s. That was really Austin Hill's fault. But he kind of paid the price too. We got held up and lost a handful of spots. Well, that just shot Amendinger and Vangusbergen out to a huge lead over the rest of the field. Okay, Fox, you've shown the replay five times. Can you show the action? They're back through the S's for the second time. Austin Hill went from fourth to tenth. And Chandler Smith went from third to... Or, well, not Austin Hill was fifth, Chandler Smith the fourth. Chandler Smith's 17th now. Allgaier looking for a way around Sage Karam. Custer won two road courses last year. He won Portland, and then he was given to Chicago because of historic rainfall. A historic weather event helped Custer win from the pole in Chicago. Sage Karam's fast. He's trying to pass the eight. Looks like they touched. Sage Karam third. Sammy Smith's got a dent from where he got in the back of the 81 with help from Austin Hill. Slot damage. <clears throat> Ty Gibbs up 13 spots to Larson's eight. They're moving, but it's taking time. <clears throat> John Hunter Nemechek got a track penalty. He started 20th. Ago, 
Allgaier's falling back. He got passed by the eight, the double zero, and now Kligerman. And it's a two-car race way out front. Two Collin cars. Collin's taking a big step back, but they get the right guys on these road courses. And we're going to a commercial after two and a half laps. Thank you, Fox. Thank you very much. Jarius Sneed signed with the Tennessee Titans. That's a big loss for Kansas City. I know it's a big damn track, but you could have gave us at least three or four laps before you went to commercial. Ah, oh, let's be honest. Fox is just upset. There's hardly any kids for them to zoom in on in the infield. So. Oh, why bother showing this? Go to commercial. We can't find enough kids to creep on. On the plus side, a commercial break is about as long as about a lap here, so you really don't miss that much, I guess. Ty Gibbs is up 12th. Kyle Larson nowhere to be seen yet. It's disturbing, but it's the truth. I've seen how Fox likes to shoot races. Racetrack. And we're back. <clears throat> hey, the F1 guy spun out running dead last and by himself. Oh, the new up front, Vangus Bergen and AJ. Five seconds ahead of Sage Karam. <clears throat> He's got Sammy Smith and Kligerman behind him. Kyle Larson is not even top 20 yet. Oh, wait, yeah, yes, he He's up to 18th now. He just got in the top 20. Gibbs 12th. That eight car looked loose there. Kligerman to fourth. battery problems for Creed. He's pitting. <clears throat> Maybe they can flip this into a strategy play of some kind. I don't know. We're only five laps in. There's that advantage I talked about of not having to go to the rear. <laughs> you think Vangus Bergen's going to take the stage points? 
Maybe take the points in stage one and flip track position after stage two. That's what they'll probably do, right? Albendinger maybe do the same. Hey, did you guys see how hot Kyle Weatherman's wife was before the race? <laughs> she said the pre-race prayer. She's pretty. Foot cam. I feel like I'm watching a mid 90s NASCAR broadcast. You know, only not as good. Karam. <laughs> I like the way Suarez said his name. Karam. Sheldon Creed's going to the garage. Sheldon Creed could never get a break. Never, ever. Good thing he will hop before he got to the place where he had to turn. Custer will hop a little bit. It was on the straightaway. Just a little bit. He's running sixth right now. He's all right. Austin Hill's bouncing back from 10th to 7th after getting held up earlier by a spin he caused. Angus Bergen and AJ yet again, nose to tail. <laughs> Curious to see what happens when Larson and Gibbs get up there. Can they challenge them? Because you know they're going to be up front at some point. Have a good day, Aussie. Meow. 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 You having a good day, boy? I said, are you having a good day? We mess with you like you mess with me. Hey, you should enjoy this. This is very similar to a Formula One race so far. You know, boring, but, I mean, hey, it's early. I'm not going to bitch about a race being boring early, because why well, wouldn't it be boring early? Nothing on the line. You hear this, boy?
I keep wanting to treat these, I mean, I want to take care of these drumsticks so they'll last, but these are like heavy duty fucking badass drumsticks, so I can actually just kind of sit here and mess with them. My other drumsticks, if I wasn't using them, I'd put them away. These I want to sit here and mess around with. Thank you, Lars Ulrich. Ozzy, look, new drumsticks. Boop. 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 I boop your head, Mr. Ozzy. <laughs> Ozzy doesn't get violent with the drumsticks. He tries to play with them, but my cat Paige becomes downright violent when she sees a drumstick for some reason. And we're back. Wow, that's a lot of damage on the right front of Sam Mayer. Wow. He got into Allgaier and it ripped a hole in the right front. That's weird. Joe Logano just mentioned his rush start. Logano was 26th in cup standings. Well out of the playoffs as we run now. So yeah, Sam Mayer had a bad start this year. Running top 10 right now with damage, so. Ty Gibbs, eighth. Passed all guy on the damage car of Mayor. Larson, 15th. Stack in the deck. Who are you going to get next? Boris said and Ron Fellows alongside Vangus Bergen and Alba Digger. Larson working on Jesse Love for 14th. God, they cut that corner so low. Look at all the dirt. They're going to wind up throwing a caution for dirt. They've done that here before. That same corner every year, they're going to throw a caution for that dirt later on. It's pretty bad already. Vangus Bergen and Almendinger are 10 seconds ahead of Parker Kligerman and 11 seconds ahead of Sage Karam. I remember the day Gibbs won that race on the Daytona road course. I said, well, 
It's a good thing he's talented because his name is Gibbs. He ain't going anywhere anytime soon, even if he wasn't talented. So, I like the guy just because he's such a good driver. I can't lie. I'm not the president of the Ty Gibbs fan club, but I have a lot of respect for his ability. Oh, we got a penalty on uh, Ty Gibbs. Cut the track. They're talking about him, and he just got the penalty. <laughs> well. So now, take Gibbs out of the equation again. Oh, yeah, Joey got course cutting and qualifying. Look at all that dirt. That's okay, Fox. No need to show. Oh, we got a battle for lead. Here it is. Vankersbergen missed the corner just by a bit, and Almendinger took advantage. New leader, AJ Almendinger. I think Suarez is right. Following A.J. Almendinger is not a bad thing if you're able to keep up with him. And Vegas Bergen can keep up with him. Although, damn, A.J. just smoked him off those two corners. Hell, Gibbs with a penalty only dropped to 15th. Not that bad. They're showing a screenshot of the Gibbs penalty, and yes, he had all four tires below the curb. Smith and Hill past Sage Karam. I think guys are going to start pitting the, now. Here they come. Mayer, Allgaier, Custer, Larson, Chandler Smith, Jesse Love. Oh, 
Ty Gibbs. Austin Hill cut the track. can't take your tires on a penalty, can you? Dinger's going to pit. Vangus Bergen pits too. Beats who out of the pits. They were pretty close to each other when they came in. Vangus Bergen stalled on the way out. Slow stop for the 16 and Vangus Bergen stalled. He's rolling. He lost some ground to AJ. We're two to go. Might as well just ride around and save your tires for these last two laps. Well, this stream's fucking dead, isn't it? Ten points. Vangus Bergen lost over five seconds on pit road to the 16. But there'll be one, two when that top seven pit in front of them. They got all guy for it now. Austin 
Austin Hill served his penalty, and he's still sixth. <laughs> Yeah, Balicki's only in the top 10 because he hasn't pitted yet. <laughs> he pits here. He'll be back to where he was running before. Parker Klugerman inherits a stage win because stage cautions are stupid on road courses, and this is why. But if they insist, this is how we do it. This is how we do it. <laughs> Not much to talk about so far. God, it's windy outside. Ooh, that breeze. Hey, YouTube TV, you want to shut up? Every now and then, YouTube TV will show in one of their ads. <laughs> YouTube ads get on my goddamn nerves.
Clickerman, Sage Smith, Sage Karen, Parker Ritz left, Riley Herbst. Got points. Alvadinger got three points. Bankersbergen got a point. And they pitted. They'll be 1 2 again when these guys get out of the way. So it'll be Alvadinger, Vankersbergen, Larson. Wow, Larson's going to be third. All guys pissed. I don't even know what the fuck they're talking about on the broadcast. Oh, God, how bored. These states costing suck. And then Jamie Little congratulated him on winning anyway. We've been over this. Uh, Y'all need to help me stay awake. Not even halfway through this shit. Well, it didn't hurt them. They had such a big gap. They're still going to be 1-2, but yeah, tighten up on pit road a little bit, calling teams. These guys will all be at the rear. I'll be right back. I'll take a walk and wake my ass up. They're going to commercial, so. Be back in a minute.
<laughs> well, it says three people are watching, but... Eh. My Xfinity streams don't garner a crowd anymore either, but I, I still like watching Xfinity. I just flat out don't care or like watching the trucks anymore. But Xfinity, I still love. A total of eight penalties in stage one, I'm assuming, for all cutting the S's. Forgot Ty Dillon's in that six car. Almendinger, Vangisberg, and Larson, Custer, Sam Mayer, and Chandler Smith up front. Ty Gibbs, eight. I'm assuming he'd be fourth right now if not for the penalty he had. But now Almendinger and Vangusberg gonna have a new headache, and it's that motherfucker driving a 17 car. Oh, trucks is god awful. I hate the truck series now. It's fucking like Arca to me. Ring, ring, ring. Stage two. Thirteen more laps. You know, that new restart zone's not preventing this huge pile-up, not pile-ups, but crazy four and five wide moves into one. Good God, four wide for the lead. AJ pulls through. Vangusbergen loses three spots. Vangusbergen got a problem. Almendinger, Larson, Jesse Love, Ty Gibbs. No, old Vangusbergen got into Gibbs. Almost spun him. So Amadinger played that beautifully. I don't think is not used to these double file crazy restarts on road courses. Austin Hill just barely hanging on to the road. Showing an overhead view of turn one. Yeah, Vangusberg and just, I just think he, t he creeped through there and went really wide to avoid contact and gave up some spots. <clears throat> Jesse Love kind of running Larson off, get underneath him, just a nudge. Jesse Love's got some right rear damage. Very small right rear damage. Who? Gibbs had to go so wide. Vangisberg and passes Jesse Love. It's got one of those spots back now. Up to fourth. Custer diving under Jesse Love. Whoa, Custer. He cooked those tires a little bit there. And A.J. Amendinger's just having a nice leisurely drive. Oh, I think Sam Mayer cut the track. I think Sam Mayer cut the S's. We saw it from Custer's rear camera. Like Suarez said, maybe they won't call it. 
But it was right on camera. They'll probably call it. Gibbs diving under Larson for second. Gibbs is my pick to sweep the weekend. But I just don't know if anybody has anything for AJ. Ah, Larson let him go and just passed him right back. Albedinger is back in his own zip code again. <laughs> I'm not hearing a penalty on the one yet. I like how we think that's a penalty, but NASCAR didn't call it. It shows you how inconsistent they are with it. Okay, they did call it. They did call the penalty on Mayer. It's barely, but yes, that should be a penalty. Pass through. Well, I bet they call. I bet they don't call all the ones we don't see, but at least they call the ones we do see. They're all, they're just literally driving through the grass in that corner. They're showing it on camera right now. I think they they need to do something about that corner because there will be a caution for that at a bad time, probably tomorrow. Can't believe they haven't fixed that corner after the last two years. Talladega. Jesse Love got all up in the rear of Custer there going to that corner. Sent Custer wide enough where Chandler Smith got a run on him. Oh, oh, and the eight car claims another one. This time without the help of Austin Hill, he spins Cole Custer. They were, Love and Custer were going at it. And then Sammy Smith got in there and Custer got a little too defensive. Ooh, and that ripped the rear bumper off the two. You see that? Didn't see that the first time. He ripped up the rear end of Jesse Love's car.
Now we're going to watch 55 replays from every angle. Might black flag the two if that bumper's hanging off, right? Oh, it fell off. That's going to be a caution somewhere, right? Okay, it's off track. His bumper flew way off track, so I guess they won't throw a caution for that, and they can't black flag him. And Joey just pointed out, when that rear bumper cover comes off, that's a huge boost to your car. So the two should handle really well now. Telling Custer the eight just run him over. And he'll remember that. <laughs> Ty Gibbs, Shane Vangusbergen. Wow, that was crazy by Vangusbergen there. They've gone back and forth in the last lap. They're just now showing it. And Vangusbergen takes third place. Shane had a bad restart, but he's bounced back. He's third. I'd probably rather drive a sequential transmission than an H pattern. <laughs> I remember being in a kid. I remember being a, a kid riding in the truck with my dad, and it was a fucking stick shift with the H pattern. I was just like, "How the fuck does this thing work?" <laughs> No surprises in that top five, for sure. Josh Williams, penalty for cutting the S's. <sighs> 
Bob Pockris confirms with the NASCAR rulebook that rear bumper covers are not required for short tracks and road courses. However, everywhere else, Jesse Love would have to pit and put one on. Remember the Roval a few years ago? They, they let Chase Elliott cheat. He should be blood flying. It's because on road courses, you're allowed to not have it if it gets ripped off. So, Jesse Love caught a lucky break. Helps with handling. Coda and NASCAR Rivals is so busted. It's just because it's like an ice skating rink and the AI is terrible. If the AI was competitive, it would actually be more interesting. But the sad thing is, Coda on NASCAR 21 is better than NASCAR Rivals, which is nuts because NASCAR 21 is a horrible game and Rivals is actually a decent game. Hmm. <sighs> I ain't played my Switch in over a week and a half. As at work, I've just been watching TV on my, on my downtime instead of playing my Switch. We are halfway here in the whatever this race is called at the Circuit of the Americas. Amadinger, Larson, Van Gisbergen separating themselves. Gibbs losing ground to them. But he's still got a good six, seven second gap over fifth place behind him. We got five double duty guys today. Four of them are running top five. Two of them are full time Xfinity regulars. The dirt corner just drives me crazy. I'm playing for the track position. If I don't restart within a row of the 16 car, I have no chance to win this race. I'd say that top five should play for track position and everybody else should play for points. They might as well play for points because they don't have a chance. I think it's a four car race. Chandler Smith might be the one long shot that has a shot. But everybody outside that top four should just go ahead and take the points. That's all you're getting today.
my drumsticks in this little case I got them in. Larson is on the back bumper of Almadinger with Vangusberg. Oh boy, three cars under a blanket here. I think they're all going to pit when they hit three to go. Ooh, Larson loose off the car. They're three wide! Oh! Vangusberg had gotten the right rear of Larson, then cut him a break, and then Larson cut Agent. But man, Vangusberg, it's all over the 17. Just railroaded him out of the way. I don't think Vangusberg had meant to do that. Or maybe he did. Either way, it opened up a lead for Almadinger again. A little bit of a gap. God. Vangusbergen saw a gap and he took it. You guys are all going to pit in about a lap and a half. Whoa. He's roughing up Larson. And like I said, I don't even think he's meaning to. Larson lets him go. Good pass, but I think also Larson let him have it. Vangusbergen into second. AJ with a big lead again. Four to go in the stage. Larson's going to dive to the inside of turn one. Vangusbergen the gives him plenty of room. Larson takes it back. And Gibbs is catching them. And Vangusbergen going into the S's. He just schools people. He did it to Larson there. He did it to Gibbs earlier. He did it to Larson there. Don't cut that track. I get nervous every time they show them coming through the last part of the S's. That seems to be where guys cut it the most. They were three wide at one point. I'm sure Larson's annoyed. He should be. Not enough to just wreck the guy or do anything dumb, but I'd be like, fuck, dude. But hell, he kind of did it to AJ, too. And then Vangusbergen did it to him. Woo. Larson was going to creep into that corner. Vegas Burgers went wham. Three to go. I guess the leaders will pit this time. They should. I know Larson and Gibbs for sure will. Vangusbergen and Almadinger would be dumb if they didn't. We got Hill, Sammy Smith, Kligerman, Jesse Love, Sage Karam, Justin Allgaier. This has been a hard race on these guys. The only caution's been the stage yellow, so these dudes have been working hard out here today. Jesse, 
Jesse Love, too fast on pit road. John Hunter Nemechek, too fast on pit road. He was having a terrible day anyway. The 20 has been invisible today. Dirt road course, Joey Logano, you've never played NASCAR Heat 4. Albedinger, Larson, Vangusberg, and, and Gibbs hit pit road. See how these four guys come out. Chandler Smith hit pit road. I'm guessing he made it just in time. Don't stall it. Another bad stop for Shane. Comes out third. They're all on top of each other. Almendinger, Larson, Vangisbergen. Right on each other. Basically how they came in. Brandon Jones is going to inherit a stage win from the looks of it. Brandon Jones, Riley Herbs, Cole Custer, Alex LeBay, Ryan Sieg, and Josh Balicki will be in the top ten. Yeah, Creed was in the garage, so ignore him. If you know you have no chance to win this race on speed, taking the points is the right decision. And those four cars out front have 0% chance of winning this race. Bring back Montreal. <laughs> Papa John's I had earlier is coming back to haunt me. I feel heavy. <laughs> it was good, though. I do not regret eating it. I regret paying for it. I just don't regret eating it. Because it was good. It surely was. Bring back Rocky. I agree. I need another race to go to. <laughs> Fuck. 
Wilkesboro, Rockingham, Charlotte, Bristol, Darlington, Martinsville every year. I am not going to Spring, Darlington, or Spring, Martinsville. We're doing North Wilkesboro instead, and then we'll hit Martinsville and Darlington in the fall. That's my plan. It bugs me when I'm at home watching a Darlington race on TV because I love being there. But I'll be there in September. And I'll be at Martinsville in October. Or early November, whenever it is. And the stage is over, finally. Good God. Amendinger, Larson, and Vangusberg and still finished fourth, fifth, and sixth in the stage. Amendinger, Larson, Vangusberg will be one, two, three. Gibbs, fourth. Chandler Smith, fifth. Austin Hill, sixth when we start this final stage. We're getting down to it. Crazy restart. They're running out of time. You can't let the 16 just check out, man. You better go hard here. Because when he checks out, you probably ain't catching him.
Oh, wait a minute. Brandon Jones did not win stage two. He shut court, he, uh, shut court, short cut the course. Riley Herbst is your stage two winner. Oh, 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 Riley. <laughs> Brandon Jones didn't even need to cut the track. So, wow. Brandon Jones sucks. Good talk. <laughs> Did you lose me? <laughs> Jump in one more time. I think he's too far yeah. away. You know what? Well, what happens is this racetrack's so big, and this happens a lot for the spotters. There's multiple spotters on the racetrack. It, it, the track's three, uh, what, 3.6 miles? I'm going to say something. something you know, if, if you were asking me that question, probably I wouldn't answer you either. <laughs> Did he lose his rear tires? I, I wanted to know. Today, AJ going for the hat trick 2022 in Austin. This is after he was a runner up to Kyle Bush in 21. He gets it done. Last year, if you remember, we didn't have stage Ryan Vargas said someone spun into the sand trap under caution just now. Under caution. Brandon Jones thought he had a stage win. Pitting and flipping the stage in both stage one and stage two. AJ Allmendinger takes home 11 points. Kligerman wins stage one, gets 10 stage points overall. Alex LeBay having a good day as well. So now those drivers that elected to stay out right along will come down pit road and everything will cycle back through to the digger. About that Connor guy choking extremely hard on the very first lap of the truck race and never recovering. <laughs> oh my God, that Connor guy is going to show him. And then he blows the first corner and that's it. Scheduled stops. Unless something crazy happens. Now remember, you can use shortcuts everywhere except that one spot. Because it determines where you 
cycle back in <coughs> those drivers that stayed out that already made their pit stop. Number one pit stall for Cole Custer because he won the pole last time out in Phoenix and he is the first one off. Not a lot of attrition in this race. There's still a lot of cars running. Race next Saturday is at 1.30. Shit, that's early. Good. Forty dollar drumsticks. Curious to see what the TV ratings are going to be for the UFL. It's just been proven. If it's not college football or NFL, it's hard to get people to give a fuck. But I hope it does well. Either way, I ain't gonna have time to fucking watch it. I watch racing on the weekends. been about the race we expected and that the guys up front are the guys we expected to be up front. Those are the ringers of the road. Nice little piece coming back to energize things as we prep for the final stage in Austin, Texas. Go hard, because if that 16 gets out, checks out and he's gone, it's over. Oh boy, Fox found some kids to zoom in on. Isn't that nice? <laughs> the camera produ the producer in the truck can fucking finish now. God, we're still not coming to the green. Fuck. Well, 
John's crew chief for AJ Allmendinger has been doing a great job today. We saw the 17 of Kyle Larson and the 97 of your teammate Shane Van Gisbergen and close in on you guys a little bit. You got a little extra in the tank or what's going on there? I really hope so. AJ's done an amazing job all day. I feel like he is saving a little bit. Um, like I said, I, wouldn't, I, I couldn't pick anybody else to be in the seat for sure. He's, he's really done a good job. I know the 17 and 97 are really strong today. Hopefully he's got a little bit left and we'll see how it shakes out here. I can't wait. Y'all, we got another goddamn commercial? Fuck. Be here all day. Man, don't you just love stage cautions? I had to pay $15 shipping on these fucking drumsticks. Isn't that crazy? Like, damn. Why does this stage caution feel longer than the first stage caution? Was it because the guy who spun and got stuck in the gravel? Or are we just killing time, trying to drain the laps down so we can get a bunch of cautions and a red flag and a wreck or whatever they want? And we're rolling to the green. Here we go. We'll have 12 laps to go. Almendinger, Vangusberg, and Larson and Gibbs, just as we predicted. Austin Hill back there in six, trying to keep his top five streak alive this season. Who names these kids? Oh, this is our kid, Edelin. What are you going to call her? Eddie? Edda? Edelin. Come up with normal names for your children. So they don't get laughed out of school one day. Is that a Supra? All right. How aggressive are we going to be now, knowing that there are no more scheduled cautions? Pretty even start. 
And Vangusberg had nailed it. Door to door. Oh boy, oh boy. Almendinger gets really defensive. Larson goes to the bottom. No. Oh. And Almendinger out front. Larson trying to get into second, and he does. And AJ's gone. <laughs> well, he's not gone, but that went really well for him. Watch this corner here. They are calling those penalties a lot today, so you better be careful. I didn't see anybody cut there just now. Austin Hill fifth. Vangus Bergen for second underneath Larson. Got to get it before AJ checks out. These next couple of corners are going to be crucial to determining if they have a chance to catch AJ. Vangus Bergen's got to make this pass and get it done, and he does. Now go get him, Shane. Oh, spin in the back. 39 went around. Nobody commented on it, because I guess it's just not that important. Suarez noticed. Ryan Sieg. Oh, my God, Ryan Sieg around. We don't know what happened, even though they literally saw it. Woo. A lot of dirt kicked up off the final corner. It's been a remarkably clean race. Like I said, not a lot of attrition. Same three cars up front since the beginning of stage two. Two of them been up there since the very beginning of the race. My YouTube TV just froze. <laughs> that don't happen too often. So I have no idea what's going on now. It's only the second time that's happened in like a month. I'll reboot it. Goodness gracious. It's just telling me I don't have internet. <laughs> My TV is saying I don't have internet. Well, I hope you all enjoy the rest of the race because it's not letting me even check to see what's up with my television. Hit the home button. Uh, did my TV crash or something? Because it's just blinking. It's my TV. It's not my internet or anything. My TV's fucking being a bitch. Turn back on, cock smoker. Sit there and tell me I don't have internet when we're actively on the internet right goddamn now. Thank you very much. <clears throat> They've already pulled ahead of Larson by over a second. Any day now, I'd like to watch my television. Thank you. Yeah, I'd like to watch television now. See what's going on in this race. It's been a very lame, uneventful race. Good God, what happened to the 81? I missed that. He got a fender rub off of somebody. I don't know. I didn't see it. My television cut itself off. Him drifting back is over there over Parker Retzloff in the 31 to get back inside. 
We have not had a caution for cause today. We really going to go this whole race without a legit caution? Vangus Bergen is within striking distance at 10 to go. Oh, my God. Gibbs passing Larson for third. Larson's not putting up much of a fight here. Wonder what the deal is. They both lost so much time to the 97 and the 16, they really don't have a prayer without another yellow. <laughs> Vegas Burger is right there, buddy. We still got 10 laps, and look at him. He's all over AJ. These two have been about even all day. I think Vegas Bergen was smart. I think he's, you know, ridden behind AJ a lot today and not pressing the issue. I think he's about to start pressing the issue now. We'll have to watch out of AJ's rear here to see if Angus Bergen cuts the track. Nope. One more corner. I can't tell if he did there or not. They cut away from the good camera angle. If he did, that'd be devastating, and I'd probably turn this damn race off, because if Angus Bergen gets a track penalty, congratulations, AJ. <laughs> Like they said, it happens a lot when you're right on someone and you can't see everything other than the car in front of you. And he is right there making his move. What's he got? He's got the advantage. He clears AJ. This is by no means over. <clears throat> I don't see him driving away from AJ. I'd be shocked if he did. And they ran their fastest lap of the race. Wow. Woo! Tried to force the 97 offline into making a mistake. And Ty Gibbs is closing the more these guys race like this, little by little. Ty is just close enough to make something happen if they get really racy. Wow, Vangus Bergen just killed him off that last corner. You see that? The difference in corner exit? Three car lengths. <laughs> Teammates and the two best road racers in the field. Ooh, Vangus Bergen smoked the tires there a little bit. He missed the corner. He smoked the tires. He missed the corner. AJ really didn't close, though. 
Yeah, it is not over. Just because Vangus Bergen passed him. I said that a lap ago. We still got eight to go. If AJ's close to... Ooh, bad corner for AJ. I think Vangus Bergen's really good on most corner exits. Teammates running on each other hard right here. Mayor and Algar. Teammates in a pissing match right now. Each with beat up race cars. Telling Allgaier to lay off the one and don't do anything stupid. Yeah, Mayer would love to get this top ten. He's running seventh right now. And Vangus Bergen is pulling away a little bit. Gaps just did a second. AJ just can't get off the corner like Vangus Bergen. Every time I see an onboard shot, I just see Vangus Bergen leaving him when they get out of a corner. Oh, we got a spinner. Anthony Alfredo, loop it around. Stay green, stay green. A lot of smoke, but stay green. Who got him? Nope. The 32, just a little touch. That was almost a yellow. AJ asked his crew chief, what did you do? And he said, a tenth of air out of both rears. And he said, it sucks. <laughs> a tenth of air pressure. And AJ said they killed it. Ooh, get out of the sand, get out of the sand, get out of the sand. We got a car stopped in the sand. He's not stuck. You're not stuck. Roll, motherfucker. Uh-oh, uh-oh, it's digging in. This is a tense moment. And he got out of the sand. I'm about to say, you motherfucker. Why'd he stop? He stopped. It's like, dude, roll through, you fucking dumbass. He barely got out.
We still haven't had a caution today other than the stage caution, so just waiting for the shoe to drop. Five to go, two second lead. Sam Mayer, DNF Daytona, 11th at Atlanta, DNF Vegas, DNF Phoenix. Yeah, he'd be happy with a 7th. <laughs> Mayer had the season of his career last year. Shane's cruising, looking like Chicago all over again. Four to go. We're just counting laps. Counting corners, counting laps. This Xfinity car is nothing like a cup car, so yeah, Vangus Bergen, pretty versatile guy. Got a car spun over here. That's a lot of fluid coming out of that 24. I'm not pulling for a yellow, but I'm saying that's a lot of fluid.
Caution's out with four to go. Well, Shane, now you're going to be put to the test. And Vangusbergen has been good on restarts until they get to turn one, and then he kind of gets out of the way, or he's not quite as aggressive. I don't know. He's the control car. Maybe he can just clear everybody, have a clean turn one. The 24 stopped and dropping fluid. It's better to stop him there so he doesn't cover the whole damn track. Damn, dude. Ed Jones. Ninety one get him. Oh yeah. He got his ass. You give and you take. There you go. You know what is the interesting thing is where the fluid comes from. Yeah, maybe because maybe that all happened. Like Yeah, yeah, but the fluid was coming from the twenty four, I think, when she was sitting there. But that contact wasn't hard enough to to do anything. You would think so. the fluid, right? Look, there is clearly some fluid in that car. Now it's gonna get interesting. Yeah. How, we're going to overtime? How's this overtime? Oh, whatever. What are y'all thinking of this? In the booth next week, Beavis and Butthead. It's going to be a stupidly long caution. Unless they open pit road. Couple of back marker scrubs got mad at each other and now we're under caution. The guys wrote it twentieth had to wreck each other here. Whoa, Ty 
Tige, no, no. Larson pits. Doesn't drag very many with him. I think Larson just accepted he didn't have a winning car. So, pit and see what happens, I guess. Two laps is a long time. Maybe pitting for tires is the right idea. You're going to get a caution every time they go to turn one, right? Leader's in a bad spot here, but I, I, I like staying out. Grabbing a power raid. I'm pulling for Vangus Bergen. They got to update that Saquon commercial. The commercial with Saquon Barkley, he wears green now. Okay, we're at the choose box. Wow. Vegas Berg and Almendinger both took the inside. That's protective. I like the launches Vegas Bergen's been getting from the outside, but he can protect better in turn one going to the bottom here. And now Ty Gibbs, my pick to sweep the weekends on the front row. This is going to end badly for Colic, isn't it? Behind them, Austin Hill. I just hope they both get their turn one. They can race it out amongst themselves. They've earned it. 
I don't want bad shit to happen because two back markers decided to run each other over and bring out a caution light, you know. Three, two, one, contact. We were going to have a nice, crisp two-hour race, and here we are in overtime. <laughs> Go, Shane, go. Oh, he spun the tires just a little bit. He didn't get going well. He's having to block AJ. He's still got the inside. He's not been good on turn one on these restarts. Austin Hill's going to fucking clean him out. Nope. Kept it clean, kept it clean. Vegasburg, it runs him wide. Here comes Hill. But I think Vegasburg is going to get away with it. Wow, that just killed AJ. Sent him four spots back and sent Gibbs back even further. And now the 97's got the 21 all over him. Oh, oh, oh. Parker Klugerman just cut the course big time. That's going to be a huge penalty. We've made it through the first few corners. Sam Mayer's up to third. The ringer of last year. And Vangus Bergen had his, almost his entire car in the grass through that corner. Just got to get to that white flag. Keep it nice and smooth. The, real, the first big hill to climb is getting to the white flag. Because this entire running order has been shaken up now. We got guys at the front that really ain't been a contender today, like Austin Hill. Why is the one blocking the 48? The 48 obviously going to get a penalty. Let him go. He's going to get penalized. Shane just kind of ran AJ and Ty out of room. <laughs> He's not been good through turn one on these restarts all day, but and we got a yellow. Riley Hurst is smashed. Here we go. Shit show, Tom. Good grief. Illis just crashed. Riley Hurst just crashed. We're going to be here all night. Like I said, just getting to the white flag is a miracle. They didn't get there. We have no idea how this crash happened either. How'd they miss this? This is a bad crash. That's going to be a red flag. 98 dropped shit everywhere. At least 43 is off in the grass. God help us. What the fuck happened? Forty two ran over the O seven and they all dog piled in. Once one got sideways and stops up in the field and just piles in. You see the God. And I mean it's something you notice with these Xfinity cars compared to the cup cars, you know, the front bumpers are so much weaker. Who the fuck God damn a couple bumps and it looks like they ripped the whole nose off. And then the 98 drove around about a half a lap and covered the whole track in fluids, so we're going to be here a while. We should be okay on fuel, but Van Gisbergen and Almendinger are pushing it. They're going to have to red flag this, right? Oh, they got AJ for cutting the course. He's going to go to the back. Somebody's going to win this race that hasn't been a contender all day, right? If Angus Bergen doesn't win, because now AJ's going to the back. Gibbs just mad at AJ because Gibbs doesn't know that Vangus Bergen shoved them both off course in turn one.
Ty Gibbs fucked his own car up doing that. Yeah, that's a fight Ty Gibbs ain't going to win, I'm telling you. Got a NASCAR official on one of the calling haulers saying, hey, now. About the penalty for AJ, he cut the track, allegedly. I want to see Gibbs and AJ throw down after the race. How long are they going to make me stay here today? <laughs> we were chugging along. All right, here's the AJ penalty, and yeah, he cut the track. How have they not penalized Kligerman? Are they just going to say he got shoved off track? I mean, I know he did, but he never slowed down. He cut the corner. So they surely penalized the 48. And doesn't get penalized? The 48 gained ground. <laughs> They're trying to rush this cleanup job. That's why they have not red flagged it. They're trying to rush this cleanup job and get it going. Might as well come down and get your tires. The 48 damn sure cut the track. The 48 100% cut the track. If he doesn't get penalized, that's bogus. Like, yeah, okay, AJ did too, but Kligerman damn sure should be penalized. He cut the track more than AJ did. NASCAR doesn't know how to enforce track penalties. <laughs> Get to the white flag. <laughs> oh, it's so easy. Just get to the white flag and then you're on cruise control. Didn't David Green win the Xfinity Championship without winning a race that year in 94? Kyle Larson's back in the top 10 with fresher tires than everybody in front of him. 
Remember what I said, you just pit, you're going to get multiple overtimes. <laughs> This fucker's gonna run out of gas, ain't he? This is the worst case scenario. We're hitting the chews, I think. Yep. Vangusburg, Sam Mayer comes up to the front row. And they did not penalize the 48. I don't understand. How did they not penalize 48? I don't care if it was his fault or not. He cut the track. That is not debatable. AJ cut it too, but the 48 was completely gone. Kyle Larson's hoping for one more overtime. Freshest tires and the most fuel. <laughs> and none of the guys in front of him love Nemechek Custer. That can definitely make it. They, none of them have been as fast as Larson all day. Van Gisbergen is about to get nascar for the first time in his life where you've got to race one. And every stupid thing in the known universe happens to you. Including the questionable overtime rules. But we got to have overtime or people on Twitter will complain. Including me sometimes, depending on who's winning and who's not. <laughs> so I admit I'm part of the problem. I am definitely part of the problem. He's been in the danger zone. Can't believe they're letting that slide. At the 48 won this race. What the fuck? I hope Shane gets a better restart this time. He's the control car. First time today, he's the control car. Or second time. He was on the last one and didn't do so well. Go, 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 go. Much better this time. He didn't, like, gap them or anything, but he didn't spin the tires any either. He's running real low. 21's going to send him. 21 sent him. There it is. 21 sent him. Wasn't the most egregious thing I've ever seen, but he sent him. Damn. Austin Hill's going to luck into another one. <laughs> He's amazing at that. <laughs> Austin Hill is amazing at winning races. He has no business winning. And the 26 is killing the 97's chances. Okay, Shane recovered. Back to second. Good recovery. Please tell me the 97's got something for this motherfucker. Shane's been vulnerable in turn one after restarts the whole damn race. I'm not surprised that happened. He's still within striking distance. He's been better than him all day. He's just got to do it for a lap and a half. Larson's coming on fresh tires. He's got some ground to make up, though. God damn, they all went off the track. Vangusberg is still getting off the corner better than the 21. Oh, yeah, this ain't over. But he better get it done because here comes Kyle Larson. Larson's got fresh tires. He's coming. Now, 
Kyle Larson is fourth. I'm telling you, Kyle Larson's probably about to win this race. Unless the 20 just really slows him down. Oh, we're coming to the white. And here comes Kyle Larson for third. Goddamn, Kyle Larson's going to win this race. White flag. Play the Jaws music. I think Kyle Larson's probably going to win this race. Hill's hitting his marks. The 97's just a tick better. Right here is where he's been killing guys all day long. This part of the track on. He's just ripping guys. Watch them misses. Ooh, he's there. And Larson's coming on the front. You guys are just now noticing? Vangersbergen might have to move the 21, but will he? He's been close enough. I feel like that might be his only option. Uh. If Van Gervergen can stay in front of Larson right here in this corner. Larson's cutting the 97. Larson's showing the 97 a lot of respect. A little tire smoke from the 97. Uh, 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 uh. He can't let that 17 get underneath him. He's got to stay with this 21. Stay with him. Hit him, hit him, hit him, hit him, hit him. Hit him, hit him, hit him. There you go, but Larson's going to pass you both. Yeah, I'll be goddamn. I said the 97. It looked like the 97 was going to have to hit the 21 to make it happen. That's what it took. And those Austin Hill did not hit the 97 back. Joey pointed out 21 had it coming because he roughed Vangusberg and out of the lead on the restart. So he took his medicine and then just passed the 97 back. And Larson on fresh tires. Good God, they're still beating on each other here. And Vangusbergen's going to finish second. God, he got robbed. He got fucking robbed. Oh, good God. Oh, my God. I can't believe this happened this way. Vangusbergen got absolutely fucking screwed by these late cautions. I can't believe it. <sighs> jacked the 21 all <laughs> the 21 knew it was coming so he really slowed down and it just jacked up the 97 and Larson passed them both so this is why Austin Hill didn't hit the 97 back when the 97 got him he, he kind of roughed Shane up fair game hard racing and then Vegas Bergen did the same to him so I, I give Austin Hill all the credit in the world he was a man of honor there because when Vangus Bergen rooted him on the last lap, I thought, oh, my God, the 21's going to send this 97. He didn't. Right here. Shane said, you're getting out of the fucking way. You're getting out of the fucking way. But Larson's just got all that grip because his, la his tires are like 17 laps fresher. And at this point in the race, that's a lot. Good grief, man. Double overtime. This is the shit you get. I hate that Vangus Bergen didn't want to. He earned that shit. He deserved to win. And two backmarkers running 20th got mad at each other and brought out a caution that said to race to overtime. Way to go. Fucking hell.
Kyle Larson pitted for four tires before the first overtime. Best car didn't win today, that's for sure. Any fights on pit road today? A lot of guys were mad. I don't think Austin Hill can be too bad. He had no business trying to win that race. <laughs> they just kind of lucked into it with the Vangusburg and Almendinger, Ty Gibbs drama. And then he rooted Vangusburg out of the way, which, like I said, fair game. Top five in every race this year. Then, Austin Hill. Uh, you know, the restart, I thought it was somewhat clean. I mean, it seemed like the 97 lifted super early. I don't, I'm not real sure why he lifted so early, and then he started wheel hopping. Once I got in the back of him into one, and then... Turn one was the 97's weakness I, all day long. As hard as I can, but not overdrive the corners, and thought I was doing everything right into 15 and 16 there, like trying to protect, and um, ultimately just, you know, got ran over and knocked his nose in. NASCAR, woo! Larson, Vangusberg, and Hill, Nemechek, Custer, Kligerman, who should have been penalized, Jesse Love, Austin Green, Chandler Smith, Sam Mayer, top ten. I'm so sad Vangusberg got robbed of that. <laughs> Damn. Here's his interview. He did. I hated he didn't win. God, he deserved to win. Damn. He's happy, but God, he, he should have won. What? God, they. Never mind. They're putting Van Gisbergen. They're penalizing him for cutting the track. So even if he had made the pass for lead, he'd have lost. What? Oh, Jesus. I, I got to get out of here on that one. <laughs> what a shitty way to end. All right. I'm going to go take a piss and then play GTA with my friends. So I'll be on stream for that. And we can talk more about this then.